John Adolfi here. Welcome to another episode of the Hud Home Underground. Today we're at 111, that's 111 Buckingham Ave. And uh, this is in the city of Syracuse, actually in the university section. And I'll just give you a look of the neighborhood. Not very often do I find the houses like this. We had one on Richfield that we sold a while back that actually has, as you can see, a couple of flights of stairs in order to get up there. I'm very curious to see if there's any off-street parking on this. I think there isn't, but we're gonna go find out. HUD is asking 110,000 for this house. It, according to what I'm seeing here, it's got multiple lots. And I'll give you a little more information as we tour the property. Uh, let's go take a look at this one. Yeah. All right. I just went up 47 stairs. And I still have four more to go. <laughs> but before we go inside, we got cedar shake, wood shingles on the exterior. I mean, this house is built on a hill. Okay, we got a little storage area here. Nice looking deck. Gutters need to be cleaned out. It's in, the exterior is in good shape. Deck needs to be power washed and stained. We've got uh, some retaining walls that look like they're in good shape. All right, now it's time to go in. It's got, uh, what do we got here? Almost 1,600 square feet. Let's go take a look. Need I say more? All right. Well, as soon as you walk in, you're immediately struck with the hardwood floors and the tall ceilings where they're looking a little over eight feet tall. The green is unique as it is. You will, of course, want to modify this to your liking. The living room is grand. It's, it's large. And with the extra tall ceilings, it gives it even a larger appearance. Okay, we've got a half a bath here downstairs right off the living room. By the way, I checked the lot size and it's almost, it's just about an acre. Uh, according to the last listing when it was listed before, it says that it had six lots to this property. I can attest that those six lots comprise the, uh, the um, lot size that is, well, approximately an acre, but it could. That's a large lot. Now, from the last uh, time that it was on the market in 2009, I can give you the information as we go through here. This is the kitchen. You've got large window, windows, you know, lots of light. Great place to put your little breakfast nook here. Kitchen is in nice shape. It comes with a dishwasher and a stove, gas stove. The cabinets are very nice. Very nice. I like it. Okay, hot water heater tank is 13 years old, so it's 15 years old now. Look at that, you got additional storage right there. And then out here you've got your, what looks like a, yes, a Four Seasons room. Nice. Roof is about 17 years old. Furnace is about five years old. And uh, they said that it cost approximately 200 and, I'm sorry, yeah, $206 per uh, month to heat on the average. What we've got here is a, a gas um, fireplace insert. And let's head upstairs, Berber carpeting. So really what I'm seeing here is it needs a new paint job. And the carpets are Berber, they could be clean, but I would, with this caliber of house, I'd rip them all out and put in what you want. They've got all vinyl windows. Very nice. The 
Exterior of the house looks good, except for maybe uh, bits and pieces of the trim you may want to scrape and paint. Again, all new vinyl windows, all up and down. Okay, I don't have Biclops with me today, but I do have his younger brother, Cyclops. The attic, lots of storage. Looks like from what I can see that there's been blown in insulation put in. Okay, that's one, two. Bathroom, we've got lots of tile. Very nice. Again, I'd replace the floor covering and at least the sink and cabinet. Got some more storage here. This house was built in 1925. We got another bedroom here that walks out to another bedroom. Sure. It's got a low ceiling here, but it'll work. All right, let's go take a look down cellar. Okay. Oh, by the way, there's a refrigerator. It was recessed, I didn't notice it, so. Um, yeah, it did say that the, when it rains really hard, there's a little bit of standing water in the basement. Um, that was one of the things they disclosed, and here's an extra refrigerator or freezer. And so, just make sure your gutters are cleaned. Make sure the gutters go all the way around where it's appropriate and you will eliminate as much as you can. Remember, you're on a hill, so you know all the water is going to be coming down off the hill. I'm sure, I don't want to say that because I don't know, but I'm, I'm, my, my assumption is, is that, or could be that, they uh, have put drain tile in um, to get the water to go, you know, go away from the house and uh, channel it properly. Okay, I don't know why they've got this paint on here, but it looks like it's trying to, I don't know, stop a leak or something, or make sure that there's, yeah, that's what it is. I've never seen that before. Huh. Sort of, some sort of joint compound and maybe a little bit of tape or something? Okay. Anyway, and yeah, we got a water softener here. Okay, electrical looks good as far as the upgrade to circuit breakers. All right, let me give you my, my thoughts on this in just a second. Well, as I suspected, there is only uh, on-street parking. There is no off-street parking, no garage, no driveway here, as far as what I've been able to see. That being said, this property is like a huge tree fort, a little secluded area. It's got charm, it's got class, it's got kind of that one-of-a-kind feel to it in the city of Syracuse, tucked away, uh, and I really like it. I like it a lot, actually. Um, that's my own personal bias. The HUD is asking $110,000, and I know that it's assessed for one hundred and twenty, dollars and I believe it sold for one hundred and thirty dollars in the past. So I'm going to give it in its present condition at one hundred and ten. dollars I'm going to give it a three-quarters thumbs up. At the price I'm thinking that I'm going to help you get it for, way thumbs up. I like this house. Please understand though, for those of you that don't want to climb 47 stairs, you may want to pass on this house. But if you want something that's charming, unique, different, feel like you're tucked away in, in, a, in a little like magical garden, then this is the house for you. Call me at 695-6434 to discuss this and or any other HUD home in New York State. I'm John Adolph, you have a great day.